here we go. I need to calm myself down a bit. Oh. Ah. This is a big one. Welcome to my temporary abode. Please make yourself at home while I put on some tea. All of my children. Ah, a wonderful aroma. I feel more relaxed already. Would that I had sweet meats to offer, but I travel light out of habit. Sweet meats. There's plenty of hot water though, so please have as much tea as you like. Now then, will you tell us your tale? Hold on to your panties, guys. I'm about to unload. A bunch of mind foxes are about to happen. Mankind is being forced to flee the star. The world has been sundered, broken to shards. Mankind is forced to flee the star. Let's go with this one. Why don't you start from the beginning? Bro, where do I begin, man? Fucking ARR? Let's go, man. How do you even start telling this story, though? I guess you start with the Sundering. Yep, the sun sundering. Hydlin. Labre. Emmet Cell, Camorot. So the arc. Oh, you didn't tell Hithlodes you met him as a shadow. And the final days, obviously. Preposterous. Utterly preposterous. <laughs> While not the words I would have chosen, I too have my doubts. Much of it borders on the incredulous. No credibility, I guess, incredulous. What of you, Vanar? Not knowing the precise details of the first final days, it is difficult to determine the veracity of the tale. Supposing it is all true, I must ask myself why I would do what I did. Why would I feel I had no recourse but to oppose the Fourteen and create this Hydaelyn? Circumstances change, of course, but it would not have been an easy decision regardless. Oh yeah, no. definitely not. There must have been a reason, one compelling enough to force me to take such drastic measures. Then there is the Elpis flower. Which I said would serve as a guide. That it's of import to your mission is plain. But your presence here leads me to believe that this place also holds significance. But what could it be? What are we meant to accomplish? Might it not be simply thus? In the future, when she came, the final days could not be averted. Mankind has no choice but to flee the star. By alerting us to that eventuality, perhaps you wish to pave the way for other futures. Theoretically speaking, it is a possibility. Yet if that were my primary objective, 
I see no reason to guide our friend to Elpis specifically. True. The capital and Amorot, or even my own home, would be more logical destinations. True, true. <laughs> I note also that Hydaelyn did not specify a point in time to which she must return. By this, it may be inferred that it was not critical that we should meet. Yep. Alternately, she had reason to believe that our paths would converge, coincidental though it may seem. Hmm. Time to learn everything then, yeah. This is quite a puzzle. Since we were all there. <laughs> Hardly any. <laughs> but we do have one immutable fact. If the final days are indeed as described, they will bring death to all that I hold dear. Oh yeah. Yet despite being afforded long years of preparation, the only provisions I could make were for flight. Nay, my first and foremost endeavor would be to find a way to forestall the coming doom. Which we did technically. Given well, even the four thousand years. Old. Mayhap you deemed it impossible. Nothing is impossible. This I have always believed. And if Heidelin is indeed me, she would believe the same. That sentence is a bit weird, though. Listen to yourself. <laughs> are you seriously entertaining the notion that you are a messianic figure in some far-fetched... Oh, God. Sec, Emmett, we'll get back to you in a second. When she says that it's like her first uh, goal would be to forestall... I mean, yeah, she forestalled it by 12,000 years, basically, since the Sundering, right? I wouldn't say that her first goal was light, even though she technically created the Lopards soon after, right? And the, and the moon and all that. Well, she had to create... The moon was created pretty much right away because that's where she was, um, she locked, um, Zodiac plus the Sundering happened, right? So the moon was created right away, but the Loperates and stuff could have been created later on. Um, but I don't know if that was her first recourse. But yeah. Doesn't seem like it was her first recourse to flee. Well, I will not. I refuse to accept that our world could be undone by some unforeseen calamity. Uh -huh. I also take offense to my portrayal as a megalomaniacal madman. <laughs> to sacrifice <laughs> oneself for the star is a noble act, and I would hold those who gave themselves to this zodiac in the highest esteem. You did? Yet. You claim I recreated Amarot and populated it with phantoms of our people? A bizarre indulgence that would be insulting <laughs> to their memory. Yeah, bro, but you've been alive for over 10,000 well, years still, afterwards, I man. invited you there. Literally invited yep. my own downfall. Mm. Why would I do something so idiotic and inexplicable? Probably were tired. But also in retrospect, it does seem idiotic, right? Now, I will allow that the hypothetical task of restoring our world would be daunting in the extreme. Yep. The thought of having to bear such a burden for a thousand, thousand lives horrifies me. Yep. But I would never forsake my duty. I would never forsake my brethren. But you didn't, though. You do not know me. Not the you right now. I've had my fill of your fiction. I will return to my duty, and you will not bother me again. <laughs> Shouldn't you be more concerned about this Wait. if you're so occupied with your duty? I get that, like, he lose, lost his shit, but it's like... You hear something like this, I'd say 
everything should be like much of Elpis already. If you have any observations to share, I should like to hear them. If I was in Emmet Selk's shoes, straight up, if you're so focused on your duty, you would be like, you know what? Screw this Fen Daniel bullshit real quick. I'm taking this guy to Amroth and we're going to get to the bottom of this because this is way more important than anything that any, that happened in the last 72 hours for him, for sure. In the last probably his life. But yeah. Ah, Hermes and Meteon are somewhat involved. I'm still trying to make sense of it. Dynamis is key to all of this. Definitely. Ah, yes. The energy distinct from ether. Though not my field, I have a basic understanding of dynamis. Hopefully, yeah. And you say Hermes researched the phenomenon in the course of creating Meteon. Yes. I believe this warrants further investigation. Yep. With that settled, it is time for action. Yep. The missing pieces of the puzzle are here, I'm certain of it. And when you find them, the picture my future self has painted will be complete, and you will have your answer. And suffice it to say, I will aid you in your quest. Thanks, Manal. Because you were the only one who wasn't portrayed as evil <laughs> out of all of the fucking story, probably. Have faith. If Emmet Selk is the man Azam described to me, we've not seen the last of him. Oh yeah, probably not. You should know him very fairly well too, no? Maybe she didn't have as many dealings with him, but she just... Maybe she left when he came into power and like they kind of... Like they got along but not really kind of thing, you know? I don't know. Yeah, oof. Uh... Probably one of my favorite scenes in Endwalker. 